In the movie, The Secret, I quoted Dr. Werner von Braun, who's considered by many as the father of the space program. He said, the natural laws of this universe are so precise that we don't have any difficulty building a spaceship, sending people to the moon, and we can time the landing with the precision of a fraction of a second. He also said these laws must have been set by someone. And you know, it's strange. It's not that long ago when science and religion were really considered antagonistic. That's not so today. It's looked at it now, one studying the cause and the other studying the effect. And Von Braun said, after studying the spectacular mysteries of the cosmos for many years, he had arrived at the firm conviction that there is a God. I see the laws as God's modus operandi. It's how everything happens. The secret was based on the concept of the law of attraction. And because the movie went viral, it was all over the world, everyone everywhere was talking about the law of attraction. People writing books on it that don't really understand it, people speaking on it that many of them advertise their ignorance when they talk about it. I'm of the conclusion that attraction is not really understood in any depth by most people. Now, I've studied this every day for 50 some years. And I can assure you, attraction is a law, but it's a secondary law. The primary law is the law of vibration. The law of vibration is one of the basic laws of the universe. It decrees that everything moves, nothing rests. We literally live in an ocean of motion. Do you know that everything is an expression of the same thing? The leaves, the tree, the cement, the body, the clothes, it's all energy at a different rate of vibration. You see, your body is a molecular structure in a very high speed of vibration. Your brain is an electronic switching station. Your brain does not think, but you think with your brain. There's a difference. As you activate brain cells, you set up a vibration in your body. For me to just move my hand like that, I had to activate brain cells or my hand wouldn't have done it. If a person's had a stroke where the blood just stops going to a section of the brain, those brain cells become dead. The movement in the body, in that part of the body that is controlled by those cells, stops. Vibration is something that must be understood if you're going to take control of your health. It must be understood if you're going to take control of your relationships. It must be understood if you want to become wealthy. And if you want to really master the art of selling, vibration is an essential. You've got to understand it. And yet almost all the sales training programs that are done worldwide have nothing about the law of vibration in them. As Robert Louis Stevenson said, everybody's selling. You're selling an idea, a product, or a service. And it's true. The teacher's selling the student. The parent's selling the child. The child's selling the parent. Well, what do we mean selling? Well, the professional salesperson understands that selling is doing something for someone, not to someone. And the professional will sit down and they will get to know the prospect. They will find as much about the prospect as they can. They'll have permission to ask the prospect questions. They'll gather a lot of information and they find out where the prospect wants to go, what they want to accomplish. They mentally get on the prospect's frequency and help the prospect go to where they want to go. My old mentor called that empathy ego balance. Where you're able to get into the other person's mind and see the world from where they see it. Get on their frequency, get in their vibration. The vibration you're in is going to dictate what you attract into your life. And if you're troubled, and you're worried, you're going to attract a lot of bad energy. That's why the great sufferer in the Bible said, Lo, the thing I fear has come to visit upon me. Well, fear is a very negative vibration. It's a very negative emotion. It's caused by doubt and worry. And doubt and worry is really caused by ignorance. 
approached by Solomon and said, and all you're getting, get understanding. What do we want to understand? I think we want to understand the laws that govern our being, the laws that govern our universe. And then we want to understand how to get in harmony with the law. Everything you want will come to you when you get in harmony with it. Vibration is essential to understand, but only one person, maybe 10, has any grasp of it at all. If you ask a person how they feel, what they're really telling you is their conscious awareness of the vibration they're in. If a person says, I just don't feel very well, that person's probably in a very negative vibration. The person says, I feel wonderful. They're in a very good vibration. If you're in a really good vibration and you're with a person that's very negative, you will not feel comfortable in their presence. Feeling, conscious awareness, vibration. You don't feel comfortable in their energy and you want to get away from them. Now, if you were negative and they're negative, you're going to come together. Misery loves company. See, these old sayings are all based on laws. It's hard to believe that two miserable people would be comfortable together, but if you understand, they're both on the same frequency. They're both listening to the same music. You'll often hear a person that went for a walk in the woods. They said it was so pleasant. Why? The vibration of nature is perfect. That's why a walk in the woods leaves you feeling so good. What do you understand about the law of vibration? That's a good question to ask yourself. I'm going to give you a small exercise. The next time you're around a person that's complaining about anything, or that obviously it doesn't feel very well, start changing the subject. Start talking to them about them, about something good about them. Compliment them, but make it a sincere, merited compliment, not false praise, no flattery. Pick out something good that they do and slowly turn the subject around to that. Let them know how much you admire how well they do it. And you know something? Like that, their energy will change. You have caused them to change their vibration. Now, the beautiful truth about this, when you do it, you'll learn how to do it to yourself when you're not feeling very good. That's the beautiful truth. We are in control of how we feel. I was reading something by Viktor Frankl, the author of Man's Search for Meaning, a Viennese psychiatrist, spent the war years in a concentration camp. He said, in every situation, there is a space between the situation and how you respond to it. And in that space, you can decide how you're going to respond. Now that space may only be a millisecond, but in that space, you can decide, are you going to react or are you going to respond? Think of it, in every situation, between the situation and your response, there is a space. And in that space, you can decide how you're going to respond. Vibration is something that I love studying. When you're in a restaurant or in a store or any place where the energy is really good, you feel very comfortable. It's the vibration in the place. You've gone into a restaurant and sat down and before you ordered anything, all of a sudden you don't want to eat there. Why? It's the energy. It's the vibration of that place. You should get up and leave. Go where you feel comfortable. Do what makes you feel good. That's why people that are doing what they love never have to work again. They spend their whole life in a wonderful vibration. The person who truly understands how to pray puts himself in a wonderful vibration. I want to suggest you study it and understand this. 
you will attract to you whatever you're in harmonious vibration with. You are in control of the vibration you're in.